and let's explore some more callouts. Click on this arrow and let's explore the blur callout. So click on it and you can see what does this callout do. It basically blurs some things out. If you don't want a specific thing to be visible to, to the audience, you can use this blur callout and then just move it to an area which you don't want to be visible to the audience. So let's move this callout on the search term. So let's first resize the callout and simply grab it and move it on the search term. Now we have some additional effects here. Click on effects, blur. You, have, you can choose the amount of blurness. This is at 75%. If we increase it, it will obviously blur out even more the selected area. So let's choose the 90%. Again, select the call out and you can see the fade in and, and the fade out options. We have explained those two before, so I won't be dealing with this. Now go and move the handle on, on another specific point of the video and let's add a highlight rectangle. This is basically if you want to emphasize something in the video or, or if you want to highlight it. choose the specific part of the screen which you want to highlight and then go here and choose the fill color currently it's invisible color but uh, we can select any color from this list so let's select the yellow color as you can see the callout has colored yellow and now you, we can increase it and let's say that we would like to emphasize or highlight this part of screen let's play it It's very useful for a specific purposes. So again, click on it and you can see you can add text. You can, of course, select some effects, the transparency. Then you can choose the font, the size of the font and the color of the font. And here in this box, just go and click in this box and type something. And the text will be obviously visible in the call out. Let's try another one. These are all special callouts. With this callout, you can insert a specific image from your desktop or from your computer. It's obvious how to use it. First, you will have to move the handle on the specific part of the video, then just go and choose callouts and select this option and use it. Here are some additional options which are already explained. I mean, the process is always the same. This option is called zoom in pen. As we can see, when I clicked on zoom in pen, the new layer has been added, as you can see here. Now, this is again, a very, very unique option and very useful. Let's say, first of all, of course, you will have to move handle on a specific part or point of, of the time. Let's say here, and let's say on this point of time that I would like to zoom in directly on this text. It's very easy to achieve this kind of effect. So just first move the handle on the specific point, then go and choose zoom in pan. And all you have to do is to move this handle to the right and you will zoom in. Here, this is the rectangle and uh, you, you can adjust it however you want and move it wherever you want and the software will zoom exactly at this point. And this is basically all. Here you can adjust the duration of zoom process. You can increase it and that means that the software or the zoom effect will last longer. So let's check out this effect. And we can see what this effect does. If you want to zoom out again, you will have to move the handle on the specific part of the screen and then again just click on zoom in pan and simply move this handle back to 100 percent and the screen will be again in a normal mode so let's move back this handle and play to show the effect this is basically all if you want to zoom out a little bit later 
you can just go here and click on this zoom in point and simply move it on a specific point let's say here on this way you can adjust effects however you want so you can simply go here and move this call out wherever you want within this layer this is basically all about zoom in pen it obviously just zooms into the screen or zooms out so if you want to emphasize something you can use this option it's very very unique let's continue with audio option just click on the audio option and the audio is immediately selected here you can increase the volume and decrease the volume you can optimize the voice if you click on this option the software will aut automatically optimize your voice and with this option you can remove the noise within your audio track so if you have some non-quality track you can easily remove noise from that track with this option it's very efficient so let's say that you would like to optimize your voice first of all you will have to select the audio now just go and click on enable voice optimization let's first play the current voice and type. let's quickly remove the audio track here just select it and click on delete button that's the track which we added before from library okay now just go and let's play this current voice exactly this what is written here okay now let's optimize the voice click on this option and play again so first type about then put the difference is very small but it's important okay to increase the volume of the video just simply go and click on the up middle column and of course the volume is increased and if you want to remove noise again click on this option and uh, the software will easily remove the noise so let's click on this option so this is all about audio let's see the transitions transitions are for my point of view very unuseful the usage is very intuitive so let's view what kind of transitions do we have here so double click it and you can see the transition click on the flip and again you can see the transition if you want to apply the transition just grab it and carry it to this arrow and transition will be made so let's just move a little bit back and the whole user interface in it so that's the transition i rarely use the transition but it is interesting on, on some way if you want to add another transition just go and see, first double click it to see what kind of transition do we have here and then just carry it to this arrow Now let's explore the effects under the more. Now click on cursor effects. Unfortunately, in this video, as you can read here, this video is not containing the cursor data. I don't know why this happens. I don't know what are the, the factors which affect that the cursor data is contained in specific videos. So I cannot explain this thing over here but the usage of this is very simple if as you can see let's imagine that this is the cursor in this video let's say this one and if you increase the cursor size the cursor in the entire video would increase on this size then we have you can select the highlight effect if you choose the highlight the yellow circle would be around this cursor all the time and you can you have some other effects as you can see now if you choose the left click effect that means when you have clicked in the video with left mouse button this effect would be shown in the video so if you choose the rings always when you click with the left mouse button the red circle would be shown then you have some other options the warp and ripple that's only when you click with left mouse button or when you have clicked in your video with left mouse button this specific effect 
would be shown. Then you have the right click effects. They are the same, but they are available or they occur just when you click with right mouse button or just when you have clicked with right mouse button within your video, this effect which you choose here would be shown. Then you have some click sound effects for left click and right click. So if you choose, let's say, laptop click, let's hear how does laptop click sound. I hope that you can hear this. So when you have clicked with a left mouse button, this kind of effect would be hearable within the video. The same option is for right click. So whenever you click with right mouse button or whenever you have clicked with right mouse button in your video, this kind of effect would be shown. This time let's choose mouse click. So this kind of effect would be heard whenever you have clicked with right mouse button in your video. Let's continue with other options under here. Title clips, click on title clips. It's pretty self-explanatory with title clips. You can create titles. So let's say that you would like to create some intro title for your video. Just click on title clips first. Select it from here, title clips. Then go and click on add title clip. And uh, simply choose the font. Choose the size of the font. And choose the color of the font. And then go in this window and type something. And then simply adjust it with this option. So select the text and click on italic and as you can see this specific word is now italic. You can underline it. Let's say that you would like to underline the keyboard term also, so select the keyboard and click on underlined option. Then for the background you can choose the fill. You can choose whatever color which is listed here. Or you can choose even an image from your desktop. Just click on this option. First check out the image, then click on this button. And select a specific image. and this will be imported then into your project. Okay, this is the title. You can see the title over here. If you want to move it, just grab it. Now let's replay this video just to see the title. So move the cursor at the beginning and you can see the title. Click play and this is basically the title. It's a still image designed for the intro of your video. You can design the title for every phase of your video, for the end, for the beginning, you can do whatever you want. So this is the title option, then we have some other options, but I won't be dealing with these options because they are not commonly used and they are not useful for recording tutorials. So we have explained all the functions which are included in this software. After you finish with editing your recording, just go and put your cursor at the beginning. You can achieve that with clicking on this button. Then go and click on File, Produce Special, if you want to export just audio or a specific frame. But if you want to export the entire video, just go and click on Produce and Share. Then select a specific option from here. I regularly select this option, Custom Production Settings. Then remember those dimensions. They are dimensions of your video. Then click on Next. Choose the format. I will choose this one, Windows Media Video. Then go and click on Next again. Click again Next. Here it's very important to choose custom size and enter the exact dimensions of your video. Then click on Next. Again Next. Choose the production name. Choose the destination folder. The other things are pretty much OK. Then just click on Finish and your video will be exported on a specific destination. So this is basically all. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.